Well, good day, everybody. Glad you can uh, join me today. Today, we're going to take a look at what I put together for my ridge line for my tarp for making a shelter setup. It is quick deploying. So, this is my little pouch. Just to give you an idea, probably about eight inches long, just a couple inches, very light. I have one of these with uh, each of my tarps. So, this is my quick deploy ridge line with a bunch of toggles. Let's go out, take a look, and set up a tarp. Be right back. All right, sorry about the long delay. For you, it was only seconds. For me, it was a little over an hour. But uh, this is my ridge line set up with a tarp. But I want to show you uh, the importance of inspecting and looking up when you have trees in your yard. Always be aware of uh, deadfall and uh, examine your trees. Because when I was about to, uh, to continue with the video showing you my ridge line, I noticed that uh, one of my maples, here's a group of maples that I have. But right here was another shoot size tree that came out was probably, I don't know, 40, 50 feet tall. And when I was examining, examining it to put up my ridge line, I noticed that uh, there was a little split in it. Just something small, no big deal. But I just wanted to examine it. And then I was looking at the knot and everything. And I just didn't like the way it looked. So when I cut it down, all the inside is all, let me just change, it's all hollow. And it's all, look at that, just rotten right out. So, I don't know how deep, well, it goes right up every single piece. That's the very top, so it's narrowing out there. But you can see it's all the way through the core. Okay, again. Okay, it's it's soft here, but very, very, very soft there. So you know what? It pays. You got to check out the trees even in your own yard. You never know who could be playing back here, and with a little bit of a wind, down it comes. So, a little bit of a delay, but not too much. I'll just pick another tree for the demonstration. But always check out your trees in your yard. I got uh, maples. I got cedars. I have red pines. Be aware. All right, so a little bit of a delay, but uh, let's get back to uh, what we came out to do. Be right back. All right, when you're setting up your ridge line, basically at one end, you got your bowl end, put it around the tree, secure it. Then at the other end, what you do is you, you use your trucker hitch, put it around a tree and create a trucker hitch, tighten it up. And then you throw your tarp on with a couple of uh, Prusik knots and all that, and away you go. So, every ridge line should start off with a bowl. Very easy knot to make. I'll show you that at the other end. All right. So go in about five, five, five inches or so. Okay, create a loop. There's your loop. Now, go over itself. Bring up the middle. Okay, that's a marlin spike hitch. Come around through the inside here very easily. Pinch it down here, right here. Pinch it down here and then just pull this out. And you can see it all come together. There you go. That's a bowling. All right, so one more time. We'll take that apart. Take it off. 
you got your working end pull it around put it on top of itself bring up the middle grab the working end come from behind go through the circle pinch it right here on your loop that you just made and then just pull this and you can see it come together there you go that's your bowl all right so now I'll show you what I have for my ridge line so I'll be right back all right so your ridge line's got the bowl in and then what I did is I got a press a uh, knot there on with the toggle okay that's about uh, I'd say six inches long that's all very easy so I take this here the bowling come around the tree there it is here like I said grab your two fingers okay grab your toggle you pull it through and your toggle right here I cut a groove in it all the way around just slide it in here very simple tighten it up slide it against your tree now this here just moves up and down because it's a press it slide it against your tree that's that's super tight and it ain't going nowhere because it's permanently attached all right so you don't have to uh, put a tent peg in there and it's all built into the to the ridge line okay so that's what you do there all right so now let's go to uh, the other end and we'll attach the other end all right I'll reset up the camera all right so I switched ends so we can still work on the same tree and I just uh, secured the other end over there so again right here for your ridge line just pull her out there you go everything's out so you got left your uh, your toggle and then at the end of the toggle is the end of your line I got a simple uh, overhand knot okay there's the toggle simple overhand knot okay now trucker's hitch okay put it around here and usually you put a trucker's hitch in and then you use this but what I do is I'll hold the toggle and I'll just put the line in here um, I usually have about uh, well, I don't know about 40 feet of uh, ridge line so what I'm going to do is just take the excess out so I grab the knot here so I can take the excess out okay she's tightening up Bring her down here. Okay. So there we go. Now we got the ridge line. We got the toggle. And at the other end of this line is just a simple uh, stopper knot. So again, very easy. We're going to do trucker hitch. Again, right here. Roll it around. Okay. Create a loop. Come around onto itself towards the tree pull her up okay you end up with a loop like this okay that's what you end up with so when when you come towards the tree if you go this way it's going to slip but if you come towards where you're going to tie her down and you're going to apply a lot of pressure it won't slip on you all right so let's look at that again all right, I have to wait for some people to walk by, but anyways, that's what you have here, right? The starting of a trucker hitch. And then what uh, people usually do, again, they'll just go around the tree. They'll put the end through, through the loop. Okay, create it like this, right? Then they'll pull it, pinch it, and then easily just tie it off. 
and that's what they'll do, right? Eh? Myself, I don't do it that way. I do the exact same thing here, but remember at the other end, I have the toggle, right? On a stop or not. So you just pinch the toggle, pull out the line. Usually I don't have this much, but that's just simply because of my uh, my yard. All right. So now this is what I have. Here, I'll just, so I got this loop, right? And then on the other side, I got the long end. There's my toggle that goes around the tree. And then this here is my working end that goes to a stop or not. So what I'm going to do is just pinch it like this. Okay, that's all. Just pinch it like this. Grab my loop. And I'm just going to put it inside the loop. All right, that's it. So that's all I'm going to do. So there's my loop. There's my toggle. And I, I got the two cords here. And I'm just going to put it around. That's it. That's how it is. All right. So I'll pinch it here. Again, that's the part that's around the tree. And this is my working end. So I'm just going to take out the slack. And as you take out the slack, what you're doing is you're biting on itself right up in front and you will tighten her up. Okay, so let's take out the slack. Just keep pulling. Nice and tight, we'll do it again. Now that is secured. All right, no knots, no nothing. The end of your cord you can just wrap her up okay there it is just clean her up wrap her up grab your loop here just put it in here there you go everything's cleaned up okay, okay so let's let's take a look at that all right so there's my cord just uh, wound it up, put it inside the loop here, and just pushed her up here. Keeps it nice and finished. Okay, now this is the toggle, okay, right here. That's a friction toggle. Like, that, that's, that's tight right there. That's very, very tight. And that just works on friction. So this is what it looks like. Okay. Now the other end, right here, is the end that I was pulling. But if you can see how it is, it bites against itself right here. All right, goes through the toggle, you're working in. Both, both comes like this through the loop. That way, the loop here in the bottom grabs the both lines. So when you're pulling this, it's creating a bite right here. Lots of friction. And by doing that, it tightens everything up. So that's how I secure it. All right, so now let's look at the, uh, the way I put up the tarp. All right, so now my uh, ridge line set up, and she's tight. All right, so I have the three crisp knots here. The two outside ones, toggles. The center one, it's empty. So what you do is you slide her here, and it's friction. It bites against itself, see? You could pull that all day long, and she's not going to move. But yet you can relax it and pull it the other way. You gotta love these knots. All right. So I use these for everything. So these here are what's going to secure my tarp. So once I put the uh, the tarp on and put this through the um, through the loop of the tarp, then I could just slide this away until it tightens up. Then once I put the other end on same thing push it into the loop I can drag that away and tighten everything up so everything in between the two toggles will be nice and tight so when you pull it she's tight this one here in the middle when you have your tarp set up over top your ridge line what you can do is you can utilize this to hang up um, a lantern like a battery operated lantern or a little candle lantern or something like that a Yugo and that's what I use this for. And then you can move it anywhere you want within your uh, tarp setup. Okay, so I'm going to back up the camera. 
and let's put the uh, let's put my small tarp on. This is just uh, one of many tarp that I have. It's um, excellent. It's small. It's meant for a quick shelter if you're doing a day hike. Put that into your backpack along with the ridge line. Um, if anything does occur where the uh, storm front comes in a little too early or whatever, and you think it's going to create a big downpour, it'll only take you a few minutes to set up the ridge line and your tarp. Quick shelter. So, let's take a look at it. There you go. Olive green on this side, ACU break up on this side. Okay. So find your middle. So there's a corner, there's the middle, and there's the other corner right here. So this is your middle. Okay. I already got it set up. I got paracord and everything on there. So all I'm going to do set up the loop. There it is. There's the middle. Just set her up. Grab the other end. Again, grab the other corner. Find your middle. There's a chalk cord on it, but I prefer paracord. Grab your fuse prusik knot. Again, put your toggle in, and then you can slide it over, and then slide this one out of the way. Shelter set up. Okay? And that's how you do it with the ridge line on top. Alright. So let's take a look at this. So again, at the one end, you got your Prusik set up. It's on your ridge line. I got a quick uh, piece of paracord here. The shock cord, I'll only use that on an extremely windy day just to give it some go or some give <laughs> if need be, but very seldom I use that. Just use my uh, paracord on the loop and again like this here, just slides it off and then you can tighten her up and that's that's tight. All right, and like I said, right here in the middle, I can use this to hang a lantern. That's if I use this over top of my ridge line, which I'll flip after. Again, on toggle on the other side, same thing. Okay, nice and tight. Just pull it. There we go. And it's very easy to relax it. Just slide her this way. And then if you want to tighten up your tarp, just grab it and give it a pull. And that's tight. Okay. Then you can just grab your corners. And you can stake it out. But that's a quick uh, quick shelter setup. Using the, the type of ridge line that I made up. Works great. And it all comes apart uh, fairly quick. Now, if you need to uh, spend the night and you want to utilize this for your uh, candle or your, uh, your lantern, just flip this over your ridge line. There. Okay. Over the ridge line. Now, underneath. You have your uh, your loop there. You can hang uh, your lantern or your phone or whatever you want, your car keys or whatnot. 
So that's uh, the ridge line that uh, I came up with. Uh, it's not magical. There's a lot of people uh, have it out there. But I find it's very, very easy and very fast to disconnect. All you gotta do is loosen up your uh, frisk knots. Again, take it out of your loop. There, it's all disconnected. Very easy. Go to the other side. Do the same thing, just pull up your tarp. Take your toggle, flip it out. There. Now your tarp is disconnected. Okay, just bunch it up in the middle. Pull her off, wrap her up, put it back in its stuff sack. Okay. Grab this, put it in the middle. Grab your other, slide her across. Grab this one, slide her across. Very, very easy to set up and very quick to take apart. Now we're back to this end. This is where a lot of people will have their trucker hitch uh, set up. Myself, I just use a toggle. It stays on my line. It's always there. And it's a lot faster and a lot easier. You can grab your cordage. And all you got to do is take your, your toggle, just slide it through, it'll pop, it's done. That quick. All right, grab your line. There you go, I'm off the tree. Totally, totally disconnected. Okay, now we come to the other end. It has this toggle here on your uh, bowline. That too is very easy. Now that this end is all been unsecured, just grab this, pull it out, pinch a cord, gone. All right, there you go. Totally disconnected. Ridge line is now ready to uh, hank up and put away till next time. Very quick way to uh, deploy your ridge line. I find that, uh, that the toggles really come in handy. And do a good job yeah I find uh, this uh, setup very quick very easy everything is secured to the ridge line itself you don't need nothing else if uh, something does happen to one of the toggles hey just go cut yourself a branch and replace it and use an awl or something like that to uh, put a hole in it but very very easy to secure you got your bowline you got your purse loops. This one here is to secure your bowline to the tree. This here is for your tarps. This is hanging lantern. And at the other end, it's uh, to work out your uh, trucker's hitch. And instead of tying knots and this and that, you just use a uh, friction toggle. So that's the setup for my ridge line. If there's any questions, just uh, put it below. Thanks for dropping in. And uh, remember, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the uh, bell icon. Thanks. Take care. Bye now. Oh, one more thing. Let's put it away. Okay. Just grab your end here with all your hardware on it. Put it between your fingers like this and then just anchor up with your figure eights. Okay, you got about this much left over, and that's what you want to do to wrap up your cord. So it's very easy to grab the toggle. Run your line out. Put your toggle in the middle. Pinch everything. And just start doing your wraps. Tuck her in, set her up, lock her in place. And that's my ridge line.
one more thing. My little kit for my ridge line. Okay, so my ridge line fits in here with the toggles. In the kit, I have one carabiner. Never know when that'll come in handy. I also have four guidelines. Again, all my guidelines have the um, the same bowling knot on all four, already pre-made. Each guideline, I'm thinking these are 15 feet long, so there's 30, 60 feet of cordage right there. And also tent pegs. I have two nine inch tent pegs. And I have seven six inch tent pegs. And that's if I want to use my tarp to make any type of other structure. I got the tent pegs. So anyways, again, thanks for uh, dropping in, and uh, you guys take care. Till next time, see you in the woods. Bye now.